I'm entitled to some type of compensation of some sort. But thanks for the free shirt. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just heading down to the gym. It's 5.13 a.m. And the reason I'm going to the gym so early is because uh, I'm going out with my cousin today. So I wanted to get a workout in before I go out with her uh, this afternoon. Well, this morning we're going to do like breakfast. We're going to go downtown. We're going to do all the things that we used to do once upon a time so yeah i'm just heading to the gym i wanted to let you know that in order to mentally prepare myself to go to the gym at 5 a.m i make sure i have all of my stuff picked out the night prior so my water bottle my breakfast my clothes everything is ready to go so i can spend less time getting ready and I have more time in the gym. So I'm gonna run out to the gym just for probably an hour or so because I'm gonna leave my house to meet her around 9.30. And yeah, so I guess I will see you guys in a little bit. getting home I'm gonna make some breakfast and then go shower um, for breakfast I think I'm gonna mm, I don't know I wish I had some eggs there's some really good like farmers that have uh, like free what is it free range eggs organic free range eggs my cousin gets four dozen for like I think she said she pays 15 bucks for four dozen eggs so I'm gonna try to go get some eggs when I'm with her today. For breakfast, I'm actually gonna make a couple sausages before they go bad. I just have some um, Johnsonville sausages and I'm gonna have some of the Siggy's vanilla yogurt. This yogurt is not sweet at all, but it has 18 grams of protein and 11 grams of sugar. Um, I don't have any protein powder currently. I need to go to Costco. So I'm just gonna make do with what I have until I'm able to go to Costco because Costco is 30 minutes from my house and I'm not quite comfortable driving in the big city yet. So I'm gonna wait and go with my husband or wait for my cousin and go with her. So I have a little bit of a rant. So I went downtown with my husband and the girls last weekend and I went to Aritzia and I bought an off the shoulder shirt. So I bought the off the shoulder shirt and then I paid with my debit card so I did not use a credit card. So the lady like confirms my address but she had my Saskatoon address so I'm like oh no are you able to change it because I'm currently staying at an Airbnb. She's like absolutely no problem so I give her the address like verbally and then I showed her a screenshot of the address. And I'm like, can you just confirm you have the correct address? And she's like, yep, yep, everything's good. Tell me why I got the email confirmation from Aritzia saying that the order was 
that they received the order and it was going to be shipped and it had the wrong friggin' address. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I was so irritated. So I phoned the concierge and she was like, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do until you receive your confirmation from FedEx and then you need to phone us back so we can intercept and give them the correct address. And I'm like, wait a sec. I'm like, you guys screw up, but yet I have to do your job? Like, no. So I phone the store downtown and I'm like, not impressed. Cause I'm like, that's not cool. I showed her the piece of like the, um, a screenshot, she confirmed she had it. Something in me was like, oh, you should maybe look at the screen. But I was like, no, like it's a simple thing to confirm the address. And then she says she has everything correct. I'm not gonna make anyone feel like they're incompetent or doing their job, so. But then I still haven't heard back from Ritz yet. It's been going on three days now. Haven't heard back. Actually, it's going on four days. I haven't heard back. I'm gonna follow up with them today. And then I feel, and this is the second time Aritzia did some weird ass shit. So this is, and the last time I ordered from Aritzia online, they sent me a pair of pants with this, with the security tag on them. So I didn't want to have to go downtown to buy these pants I wanted. So I ordered them online, got them. And then I had to go downtown anyways to get the tag removed and they didn't compensate me at all. Only thing they said they would do was give me free express shipping on my next order. So today I'm calling. I'm entitled to some type of compensation of some sort. Aritzia, get your shit together. And here's another rant. If you have an Airbnb, just make sure there's salt and pepper. Like that's so something so simple and so inexpensive. Some salt and pepper would be nice. I'm like, I don't feel like going and have to buy, rebuy any spices considering I have so many at home. So I bought, so I would make some like hash browns, some potatoes, but I don't want to uh, have to go out and buy salt and pepper. Spices are expensive and Costco is not close to me. Actually, I asked my cousin to bring me salt and pepper. I wish I had like just something to, I wish I had some strawberries to put in with this yogurt because it's not sweet at all. I have an update on the Amika shampoo and conditioner. I really like this shampoo. It smells good. It makes my hair feel super soft. And I really like the Hydro Rush conditioner, the mask, but my hair doesn't like to be deconditioned. So I rewashed my hair last night from my post relaxer video. And I felt like my hair was so soft when I just left it in my hair and while I was in the shower and let the steam kind of do its thing. And my hair was super soft when I rinsed it out. I also used the L'Oreal uh, Wonder Water. And then I followed up with just my Olaplex number six and nine. And then I added a little bit of the Heat Defense uh, Amika Hair Serum. So I'm about to hop in the shower, but I will definitely, be repurchasing. Actually, I'm gonna do some research and see what other uh, products Amika has that would be for my type of hair texture. I really like this. And I got this from Cosmo Prof. So I got this liter bottle for $40 and this I think was 30 something. I think I paid $100 total, including tax for all three, the shampoo, the conditioner and the hair serum. I think there was one other thing I got, I can't remember. But anyways, I really like these a lot, so good. Moni and I are just out for a walk. We found a super cute little area. It looks like three minutes from our house. And there's all these people fly fishing, look. And my husband loves fly fishing, so he's gonna bring the girls fly fishing. Um, I have an Aritzia update. So I phoned them yesterday. And I was like, I didn't receive the shirt, blah, 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 blah. And then they said to me, oh, it was delivered to the wrong address. So they weren't able to update the, the uh, mailing address information or whatever. And then she says to me, and I'm like, okay, but I paid on a debit card. So I paid cash for it. So how am I going to get my money back? And she's like, Oh, well, you're going to have to wait three to five business days until it's returned. And I'm like, but it wasn't delivered to me. So I don't know who it was delivered to. So how am I going to get my return? Because I'm not waiting to see if those people return it, which they're probably not going to do because the area we're staying in is predominantly Airbnbs. So I don't know if somebody lives there. I don't have no idea. So anyways, she's like, oh, I'll, I'll do, I'll, I'll re, and I was like, how are you going to refund me the money if I put on a debit card? So then she was like, oh, no problem. I can re, I can return it. I can refund it. 
I work in finance. And, go play. I work in finance. I know damn well you cannot do a refund on a VPN machine unless it's with a credit, unless you have a credit card number. So she's like, oh, what's your, what's your, oh, be careful. She was like, what's your debit card number? So I gave her my debit card number. And then she's like, what's the expiry date? I don't know. And I was like, well, it's a debit card. It doesn't have an expiry date. And she's like, okay, what's the CVV? And I'm like, it's a debit. It's not a Visa debit. It's just a regular debit card. It does not have a CVV. And then she's like, oh, I'm not able to process the return, the refund. No fucking shit you're not able to. So then she was like, I need to put the, I need to put the money on a gift card. So then someone else was like, oh yeah, we have all the information. And I was like, okay, so am I going to be compensated some type of way? Because I clearly, you guys indicated that you had the correct information. You in fact did not. I didn't get the shirt and now I have to reorder the shirt, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, the only thing unfortunately we can do is give you free express shipping, $10. So what I ended up doing was I went over to the other unit, got the shirt, super nice people, gave me the shirt, and I'm going to refund, I'm going to return their, um, the other shirt that they sent me today. Fuck Aritzia. Pissed me off. Horrible customer service. Horrible. But thanks for the free shirt. Do you want me to catch you? Yes. Okay. I was too scared to uh, drop down. You're heavy. I was too scared to drop down. Here, let's go up the path and see what's up there. Up there, pumpkin. Moni wants to work out. They have like workout equipment at this park we're at. How do you do it properly? Well, slide your bum back. Now do it. You're doing it. A lot of the parks in BC have like workout equipment at the parks. I think it's for like older people or just to keep people fit. Ooh, this is like a elliptical. Go on this one. Oh, you push out your feet? <laughs> Be careful. There's like a super cute little coffee shop here. There's a yoga place and it's three minutes away from um, our place we're staying at. Moni and I are going to enjoy our nature walk. We'll see you guys later. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I just got in winners. I'm getting something for my little cousin's birthday. She turned seven. I don't know what to get her. So I got her this little notebook, maybe. Or there is a little lip gloss thingy. So I don't know if I want to get her that. Little Dr. Barbie set. And then there's a little bracelet set too. So I don't know. Know what kind of stuff she's into. Her mom has not called me back yet, so I'm just in here. I think I'm just gonna get the, the get her the Barbie thing and the lip gloss and maybe the notebook. And then um, if her mom says no, then I can just come back and get her something else or give her money or I don't know, figure it out. But anyways, it's so busy in here, and I want to buy something for our new house, but I think I need to wait. I I think I'm gonna try to, but I'm making no promises. I'm just getting back from the gym and I'm gonna do some self-care. That's how I'm gonna close up the video. So I'm gonna use my Amica um, Hydro Rush Shampoo and the conditioner, and I'm also gonna use my L'Oreal Wonder Water in my hair. I don't know why, but my hair kinda, like I washed my hair a few days ago, but I don't know, just it smells like Blue Magic Grease. And I don't want my hair smelling like no blue badge of grease. So I'm going to wash my hair and then I'm going to do some skincare and then I'm going to be going to bed. So I will be back when I get out of the shower. I'm just finishing up in the shower. I'm going to do my skincare before I apply any products to my hair. So first I'm going to apply my Hailderma face toner. And I'm getting some breakouts on my cheek, which is very frustrating, but I have been eating a ton of junk food 
over the last few weeks, like take out and stuff, just being in an Airbnb, not being in the comforts of my home yet. I'm also gonna apply some eye cream, which I'm running out of. I'm gonna tint my brows tomorrow. So I won't do that today. And I'm going to put my face cream on. I'm going to apply some of my benzoyl peroxide gel for my acne. This is just helping the uh, hyperpigmentation to fade. Um, I think it works okay, but I have discussed previously that I will probably be going back on Accutane in the next few months. And that benzoyl peroxide cream does bleach your clothes. So I'm trying to wash my hands and dry them with a paper towel. For body lotion, I'm going to put on some of the Sleepy Body Lotion by Lush. And I don't apply lotion on my shoulders or my chest because my skin breaks out from any type of products that I put there, so I stopped doing that. I'm gonna brush my teeth when I'm done because I plan on having a snack in a little bit when I'm sitting at the dryer. I'm gonna apply this whole body um, lotion by First Aid Beauty just under my arms. And I apply this twice a day and it does help with uh, my sweating. I do get Botox under my arms, but I still sweat a little bit, but that does help. Um, I think that's all I need to apply on my body and face. Oh, you know what else I'm going to apply? I got these T-zone patches when we went downtown a few weeks ago, but you have to leave these on for a minimum of four hours. So I'm, when I, I'm going to put these on later on and I'm gonna apply the brightening, yeah, the bright eye patches too. I am in desperate need for a relaxer. I don't care what anybody says, my roots are crazy. But I'm gonna wait and do my hair probably next week for my birthday. So I'm gonna part my hair from ear to ear and apply my Olaplex number six nine and i'm also gonna add a little pump of the amica uh, heat defense serum i'm just gonna mix the six and nine together i really like the uh, amica um mask but my hair doesn't like it left on my hair for longer than about five or ten minutes I don't know why, but just hair masks in general just tend to kind of have the opposite effect they're supposed to have. Like people are always like, oh, like my cousin, for instance, she's always like, oh, I leave a hair mask on all day. It makes my hair so soft. I have the opposite effect. If I leave a mask on for longer than 10 minutes, the time I'm in the shower, my hair just feels very dry and weighed down is the best way to describe it. I'm gonna go in now with my Amica Heat Defense Serum because I forgot to add it. This smells so good. I can't wait to flat iron my hair and just see because I heard it helps with like humidity. I'm gonna apply my Snow Fairy Lip Mask by Lush. And then I'm gonna 
apply my T-zone patch and my eye patches. The T-zone patch looks like this. And then the eye patches are like this too. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.